introducing Amata Marvel's rugged and reliable line of ironworkers. With several new updates to Amata Marvel ironworkers, such as LED lights on all workstations, heavy duty foot pedals, external stroke controls, standard electric back gauge with a fine adjustment, and much more. This machine will stand out against the competition. Amata Marvel's line of ironworkers are available in a variety of tonnage options. 66 ton single cylinder, 60 ton, 71 ton, 93 ton, 126 ton, and 192 ton dual cylinder machines. The Amata Marvel Ironworker has the punch end as the first workstation. You simply open up the stripper and you can see the stripper plate. We have three stripper plates available for the machine. They are standard equipment. The machine also comes with standard equipment of a two-piece staging table. The front of it comes off quickly and easily, as you can see. The machine also comes with a quick change coupling nut and sleeve. We use the Cleveland Punch and Die Series 26 Punch and 62 Die. You rotate your retaining nut and drop your sleeve out, removing your punch. The machine comes with two sleeves, one to hold the Series 26, one to hold the Series 51. You can replace your punch into your sleeve and replace the sleeve back into the coupling nut. At the end of your thread, you have a keyway for shape tooling. You can close your stripper and your punching operation can begin. You get a gauging bar to go on your gauging table. This gives you an XY axis to position material for repetitive punching. When punching the corners of the plate, you can use your gauging bar. So you can do multiple hole punching quickly and accurately. We have the hole set for two inches in and two inches over. This is good for base plates as well as other punching operations. You can see the even spacing. You can also punch angle iron, bring it up to your XY axis to confirm your location. Angle iron is mainly punched leg down. As you can see, we can remove our slug box. That allows for the flush T-slot table and die block, which gives us more room under our die block than any of our competitors. You can adjust the knurled knobs to raise and lower the stripper. Then return your stripper into place, make sure it is level, and you are off to punching. And then you can remove the short T-slot table by removing the two screws in front after loosening up the bolts on your die block. This allows for you to punch C-channel on the leg. You will also be removing the legs of the die block. That allows for maximum clearance underneath. So you can punch three inch legs, four inch, five inch. If you are using accessories for the machine, you can now place your large T-slot table onto the machine. You would replace it by using a large Allen head cap screw and receiver. You get a lower and upper stroke control with the machine. This allows you to limit how high and how low the hydraulic cylinder will go. This allows the operator to keep the cylinder in the optimum position for punching or bending. This stroke control shows the inlaid scale, the bottom control, and the top control, showing how far down the stroke will go and how far up the stroke will go. You can move the different stroke controls for different positioning of the hydraulic cylinder. This shows the shear stroke control, the inlaid scale, far left is shear, middle notch, far right is at the bottom of the hydraulic cylinder stroke stops it at the bottom. Now it will stop it at the top of the shear. Stops it at the bottom. Now stops it for the notch. Bottom stops it for the notch. You can switch between shear and notch with your selector switch. To the left would be your shear position. To the right would be your notch position. This is a keyed switch, so it can be removed. We have stainless steel strain reliefs with the machine and on the foot pedal. 
a sturdy metal handle is provided for positioning the foot pedal. There is a safety device in the foot pedal that must be in place before depressing the pedal. The angle iron shear has the ability to cut square or miter, both top and bottom angle iron, at the 45 degrees. The flat bar shear can miter bottom leg only. So you have your choice of bottom leg only or top and bottom leg. To do the opposite side of the angle iron, top and bottom angle, you must place the angle iron in the top section of the angle iron shear. Then you can have both left and right, top and bottom mitering, and be able to achieve a picture frame corner. The round and square bar shear is built into the machine. There is minimal deformation of the material for a nice cut. The flat bar shear is one of the lowest rake angles in the industry, allowing us to achieve an extremely flat cut. The drop side of the flat shear has no deformation. The selector switch can go in between notch and shear. The two outside stroke controls are for shear, which allows the machine to allow for maximum material thickness. The middle and right stroke control are for the notcher. This allows for limiting the notcher blade to be just above the material to be cut. The standard notcher is a rectangular notcher. A full cut can be made with the notcher, then additional cuts can be made to make a frame. Notice how quick and easy it is to make a frame. Perfect cut. An electric back gauge is standard with the machine. It's a 40 inch gauging bar with a 30 inch crossbar. There's a fine adjustment on the back gauge, so you don't have to disturb the gross adjustments once it's in place. The back gauge can be used on the angle iron shear, the round and square bar shear, or the flat bar shear. It is used so you don't have to step on the foot pedal when the material makes contact with the back gauge, it cycles the machine. You can quickly and accurately cut many pieces with the electric back gauge. The machine has one shot lubrication. Several types of lubricant are listed above the lubricator reservoir. The operator can pull up on the handle two to three times to lubricate the main pivot point and the beam of the machine. The iron worker comes with a major power disconnect switch and lockout tagout capability. A white power on light, a green start button, a red stop button, and a red emergency push button. The other switches on the machine are normal and jog. Jog is for setting up tooling. Working and auto. Working is for the foot pedal, auto is for the back gauge. Shear opens up the machine as wide as it will go. Notcher is used for limiting how high the blade on the notcher can go for safety. The operator can turn the LED lights on and off with the last selector switch. Keys are used for safety on the normal jog shear and notch switch for operator safety. An electrical panel is very simple and is marked well for any type of service.